So in the almost 15 years of uh, manned habitation on board the station, we've uh, been learning quite a bit of how the body functions after being in microgravity uh, for six months at a time. Um, simple tasks like walking or even turning a latch or a lever um, or standing from a seated position may sound easy, but for crew members, what, right after they return from space, it can be a little more difficult. Uh, we're learning how those tasks are going to be affected um, even more after spending a year in space uh, with the one-year mission. So uh, Lori Meggs out at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center visited the Neuroscience Lab at Johnson Space Center here, where crew members undergo pre- and post-flight analysis as part of the functional task test. I'm here with Jacob Blueberg. We're in the Neuroscience Lab at Johnson Space Center. Jacob, what goes on here? Well, what you see here is a subject doing one of the component tests of the functional task test. And this test is really focused on the ability of astronauts to egress a vehicle after a long duration space flight. So you can see our subject unbuckling the belt, standing up, and negotiating an obstacle course here, simulation through a portal. And then you'll see our subject walk through the pylons, turning while she walks through there, which challenges the balance control system. And then you'll see her walk up this ramp, which again simulates an active uh, performance activity. And that completes the task. It looks like a simple task, but thank you, Aaron. Great job. Um, but what are we learning from this? Well, what we're learning from this is that we know that astronauts experience postural and gait instabilities after spaceflight. And what we're trying to do is understand the underlying physiological changes that contribute to some of those changes. And what this test gives us is an estimate or measure of their functional performance. And our goal is then to relate those changes with underlying tests of balance control. And you've finished this with 13 subjects. What have you learned? Well, what have we learned? We've learned that um, when we look at all our tests as a composite, those tests that have a balance challenge, like what you've seen, are the tests that, uh, that have the greatest change in performance. And so, for example, tests that, uh, where you have to move through space, we have to move objects, we have to actually move, are those where we see the greatest deficit. And so what this tells us is that we need to expand our countermeasures to include balance training as part of our complement of countermeasures that we're going to use on ISS to improve post-flight performance. All right, let's go look at that activity board next. Sure thing. Tell us what she's doing now. Well, what she's doing is she's doing a complex manual control task. And, and this is one of the concerns we have with crew members, whether after long duration space flight, they can do complex manual control tasks like what you're saying. So she's doing various tasks where she's moving uh, f the, the, these connectors from one receptacle to another. And then you can see her with the power drill taking those bolts off and then moving that handle 90 degrees. So we test her performance before and after flight doing this particular task. And as we mentioned, we've had 13 subjects complete this. Right. One of those happens to be now going on a year-long mission, so you're going to get yes. a lot more data from this. I know that's exciting for you. Absolutely. We're very excited about the opportunity to do the one-year mission. And so, we, we, as you know, we're, we'll be testing Scott Kelly before and after space flight, and we've had the opportunity to pass the testing on this particular test after six months. So we'll be able to compare the six-month data with the one-year data to see if there's any differences between them. All right. I know there are a lot more tasks, and I think I see one that... I might be able to do okay. it right here. I don't know. Looks pretty easy right now. Okay, so this is a, um, meant to be equivalent to a hatch opening task. Okay. So your task will be to move that wheel as many times as you can in 20 seconds. Move it as many times as I can. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> as if you're opening a hatch. There I you think they go. put something on this. Yeah, it's got a bit of resistance in there. And, we and this is something that is really going to be important on the long duration mission. Absolutely. You've got to be able to open a hatch. Absolutely. It's an important task for us to be able to look at. Well, thank you so much for showing us around today. You're Can't wait welcome. to learn more from the one-year mission. Sure thing.